Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm here with none other than Big John Hatton. Um, we're here to do our Wales versus Republic of Ireland in the UEFA Nations League qualifying match. Um, John, this is going to be a preview. Um, from a Wales point of view, how much are you looking forward to this? There's obviously a lot of controversy in terms of the Irish squad and the way things are going. There's a lot of controversy with Roy Keane and, and the, the fact that Harry Arthur pulled out a squad. But from a Wales point of view, how much will uh, Wales be looking to capitalise? Well, I think it's um, it's a very exciting time for Wales right now. I think um, the um, you know Ryan Giggs has been in charge now. I think it's for three games. Um, we got a good draw in Mexico in their last game. Um, also, they uh, they played Uruguay and China in the China Cup in, in Ryan's first few games. They thumped China and um, they lost to Uruguay. <laughs> Um, a strong Uruguay inside with Cavani and Suarez and the like. Um, but Ryan, I, li I like the, the squad that he's picked. You know, he's brought in some some good young players, potentially players that are going to be around for a long time. Um, and you put that in the mix with the likes of Ashley Williams and Ashley's all his experience and the Gareth Bales and the, the Joe Ledleys and the. Um, and the Joe Allens and the Sam Bokeses and you know all that experience if you like got young players like Dave Brooks and Ampadu and um, you know um, Wilson uh, so for me it's it's very exciting I think um, you know in terms of the system I don't think Ryan will, will change the three at the back I think it's been so successful um, you know under Chris Coleman I know Ryan will want to put his own stamp on things but uh, I don't think an awful lot will change, a lot of personnel obviously, but I like the fact that he's willing and he's wanting to give young players opportunity. A lot of these players from the under-21s will have to step up. And uh, Tom Lawrence as well, the boy who's um, scoring a few goals at Derby under Frank Lampard. So Wales are in pretty good shape I feel, you know, they're in really good shape going into these Nations Cup games. Yeah, and then from, a, from an Irish uh, point of view, you, you played under Martin O'Neill. And you know, from our squad, there's not really any surprises there. Probably the two Preston boys in there up, up top. But we, we're, from a fan's point of view, we're a bit worried uh, in terms of where the goals are going to come from. You've played under Martin O'Neill, you know, and had a very successful stint under him. But uh, a lot of fans at the moment um, are quite worried about the teams he's picking, and there's obviously a lot of controversy. What, what, what will you be expecting from <coughs> well, yeah, ourselves? Obviously, I'm, I'm a fan of Martin's, and he's a friend of mine, so I would never. I would never look to criticise Mars in, in any shape or form. What he did for my career, and um, you know, we're on a personal level now, we, we probably uh, we probably get on and know each other a lot more now than even when I played under Martin, because um, that's that's the way he managed. Um, but you know, as I said, you you give him a new contract. You believed in him. You believed in his staff. Um, I think generally, there's always one or two issues that creep into things and um, and there's always the press to try and jump on jump on things and you know try and unsettle the group and the, the you know the camp and everything else I don't I'm not too privy to what's going on in terms of personal arguments or personal disagreements but all I would say is that under Martin O'Neill what he will do he, he will build a team that is strong Physically, mentally, um, he'll get results. He's got results all his career. Um, he got results in the double header against Wales. Unfortunately, he lost in the playoff to Denmark. Before that, he got that huge result against uh, against Germany, um, which uh, you lost. Was it was it to Bosnia then? Was it Bosnia? No, yeah, beat Bosnia to, to qualify. Yeah, but when you beat when you beat Germany. Oh, you got to the World Cup, didn't you, sorry? Oh, the Euros. The Euros? Yeah. Of course you did, that's right, yeah. Because you no, went out in the, the last... Denmark, Denmark was the one that knocked us out uh, for the World Cup. Yeah, but before that, the, the Shane Long goal... That was Germany, yeah. Germany, and that took you to the Euros. To the playoffs. To the playoffs. And then we beat Bosnia. You beat Bosnia, and Bosnia were the only team to beat Wales during them group qualifiers okay. as well. So that was another... A good great... Bosnia side too. Yeah, it was, yeah, with, with Deco and the like of that. So, um... You know, for me, I think it's it's a good tournament. I think it's a chance to, to blood the young players, and you know, both nations will be looking to to progress. Um, 
to the 2020 um, European Championships and I think this is a good build up for that in terms of lots of games to look forward to. Um, so I'm expecting a good game, it's going to be at Cardiff, hopefully there'll be a good crowd there. You know there's no, you know, there's no <laughs> Premier League football or, or any league football um, and as I said we're very much looking forward to it. Yeah and just in terms of you know uh, people saying you know it's it's more or less a friendly would, would do you think Wales would be looking at that and there's obviously a lot of history in recent times with this fixture now with the broken leg of Seamus Coleman and then you know James McLean's goal yeah. away and um, how do you think do you think there'll be a bit of bite to it I think these games always have a bit of bite because they're kind of local well maybe I, I don't know first and foremost it's great to see Seamus back um, I did the game on Saturday Everton versus Huddersfield um, the Premier League game for BT Sport um, it's great to see him back up and down that right hand side of the pitch very intelligent quick, good player and I think it's good for Everton that he's back it's good for himself personally and his family and the Republic of Ireland as well he's, he's a huge player for you so first and foremost it's nice to see him back that was a really unsavoury incident that he had to suffer um, the challenge obviously with Neil Taylor um, but what I would say about it is he's shown great mental strength he's had a lot of support um, he's come back and hopefully he'll come back stronger for that um, for that experience you know so um, but in terms of any sort of grudge match and all that I, I think players now, I think they just, they look at one game at a time, you know, I don't think there's a, any revenge sort of stuff. Ireland beat Wales over the two legs uh, to go through to the playoff against Denmark. They did it fair and square, you know, they, they were better on the night. James McLean scored a great goal, you dug in, you defended strongly. Um, Wales had a lot of possession, didn't create an awful lot. Um, Shane Duffy was a man mountain that, that night. Shane Duffy was a man mountain. I remember saying to Martin the defence was immense that night. I went down and congratulated him after the game. Um, so they did it and you know they, they, um, they did ever so well to get through, as I said. Um, and uh, I don't think there'll be any sort of ill feeling towards anybody. Players generally know each other, a lot of them play together on every Saturday. So. Um, no, just very much looking forward to it and, and it'd be interesting to see, you know, how, how Ryan goes in terms of his formation and how these young players um, adapt to the style and, and, and the experience of playing international football at senior level. A lot of them are played on the younger level, but, you know, the likes of Dave Brooks and, and Ben Woodburn now and, and Tom Lawrence, they, you know, they, they got, I think they've got about 9, 10, 11 caps, you know. Um, so they go going into the game and it's very similar to when John Toshak brought these these Bales and Ramses and Allens and, and, and Gunters. They brought all these good players through. And now you look at them, they've got 50, 60 caps now, they're senior players. You know, and um, but Wales are, are a good team and, and Ireland showed how good they were, you know, to, to beat them. So uh, it'd be interesting, very interesting, looking forward to it. Yeah. Just in terms of like from an Irish fan point of view, we, we are, like I'd say collectively now, as I'm speaking on the majority of, of supporters, but we're, we're quite worried because like, you speak... You're always worried, you Irish lot. <laughs> you're always worried, you're always pessimistic. Um, I wouldn't say pessimistic, it says, you see the way you're speaking. You're, I know, but you like to create the headline over stuff. You know, the main talking point now is Harry Arter and Roy Keane. It's like concentrating on your team, concentrating on getting your best 11 players out there. That's what Martin will be trying to do. But I know it's a talking point. Roy is a superstar, you know, he's Marmite. Some people dislike him, some people absolutely idolise him. He was a great player for the Republic of Ireland. That's, that's all I would say. Not sticking up for anybody. As I said, I'm, I'm not, um, you know, I, I'm not uh, aware of what's gone on, what's been said. But all I would say <coughs> is that Martin will be trying to get rid of all the negativity. He, he's got to prepare a team to take on Wales in Cardiff in the Nations Cup um, and he'll just try and put his best 11 out there, he'll probably try and feed you know, feed one or two players in that you know that have not got the experience at that level just to give them a few yeah, minutes probably Graham Burke or, or Callum Robinson players like that, yeah um, so as I said you know, <laughs> oh god, I've, I've spent a lot of time over in um, over at Air Sport and uh, Satanta Sports in Ireland and I do feel great people great nation but I just feel sometimes when 
when there's controversy, that tends to take over. And yeah, that's all I say about that. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is in terms of our, our strikers. It's just not a real goal scorer there. I think. We're just worried kind of where we got our goals are going to come from. But when we played the last time, we had like a focal point in Don Murphy who was right, playing Murphy, with, yeah. with Forrest. Um, and he, he done well, but then he went and retired then after after the Denmark game. And now Shane Long is out injured. We've got Callum Robinson, Graham Burke. Um, who, who Graham Burke's more of a kind of deep, kind of more of a number 10. Play that live at Villa. Yeah, he used to play with Villa. He plays for a Preston now. He's signed from the League of Ireland club, Shane right, okay. okay. Um So... In terms of like that, and then Callum Robinson, he's not tested that yeah international level yet. This will be his first, his first cap at international level. He scored the weekend there for um, Preston, and then kind of unless he kind of goes with maybe I don't know Alan Brown at Preston, who's scored a lot of goals yeah. uh, recently. Well, this might be an opportunity for one of the for one of the young players to come in, the young strikers, and take his chance. Martin's always been that type of manager, where he will give players a chance. Yeah, you just mentioned there some of the experienced players that, you know, Daryl Murphy, big centre forward, a focal point, great when you're in trouble to get it up to him, he can hold it up and allow the team to come up the pitch. Shane Long has scored some big, vital goals uh, for yeah. the Republic of Ireland, I remember the Germany one, over the top. And then he, he's it's just been, that he hasn't scored in so long, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, see, that's, pe that's pessimistic, <laughs> that's negative. I'm trying to say something positive, but... Uh, well, he's, no. he's going to be out now as well, so our, our focal point will will most likely be uh, John Walters. Well, John Walters, you know what you get from John. I've always been a big fan. Yes, you know, he's not he's not John Walters, that's 26, 27 anymore. Um, you know, but he will give you everything. He will try and back in when your headers give you that, as I said, focal point, that target to hit when you're in trouble. The full backs can get it up to him. Like Martin would know that when he had myself and Chris Sutton at yeah. Celtic. That's exactly what we used to do. Um, you're an outlet for the team. Uh, you know, also James McLean is is a is 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 a player that. He gets vital goals, you know, he always puts an incredible shift in. He seems to go up a couple of levels there in, in terms of when Loves he's playing, playing for his country, you know, he, he's absolutely massively committed. Um, loves Do you ever find out with players that they kind of go up a level when they're, when they're, they're international uh, or playing for their international team? For their I country? think so, I, I, think, I think some players, um, you know, they get so uh, passionate, you know, sometimes that passion can sometimes take over. But with James, you know, he stood up, he stands up on big occasions, scored that great goal against Wales, which of them was huge, huge for the country. Um, you know, but for me, you could probably play James like as a, maybe a false number nine and in a number ten role, somebody you can can make that sort of defence split in pass. He can he can get a big goal for you. Um, but yeah, it is a worry if you've not got a recognised uh, out and out centre forward, of course, but. I'm sure you mentioned it then, O'Brien at Millwall as well, you know, he's um, he's making a bit of an impact at Millwall, so he might get a chance, but, uh, you know, it is it is it is a competitive game, you know, Wales, Republic of Ireland, and as I said, uh, Martin will do his utmost to put a competitive team out there, Wales will be at home, um, but as I said, I, I'm going to be working for S4C, the Welsh speaking channel, I'm going to be at the game. And then I'm over in Denmark again on Sunday, so it's nice to be involved as a former player, you know, to see these young players coming through, and um, it's exciting for the public as well because when we got to the semi-final of the Euros and then we failed to qualify for the World Cup, it was a little bit of a lull, a little bit of a disappointment because the expectations rose when we got to the semi-final. But now with Ryan Giggs in charge, um, looked impressive in in the first few games. As I said, the Mexico result. Uruguay we got beat um, so for me it, it's an exciting time it's an interesting time to see who Ryan picks what formation he goes I think it'll be three at the back I think it'll be very similar to the system that Chris Coleman played but obviously Ryan will have to put his own stamp on that as well he want to bring his own ideas fresh ideas um, he's got good talented young players to mix with the senior players as well uh, the likes of Hawks all will be extremely helpful to these young strikers that are coming in. Um, so as I said, things are looking good for Wales. You keep saying about the Republic of Ireland, they've not got strikers. 
there's fallouts within the camp, um, you know. But from from our point of view, uh, you must it, be feeling looks, confident. Looks there, really good. Yeah. I don't know about confident. I think when you've got Gareth Bale, you don't you should be. Yeah, well, obviously you missed it for the last game. Exactly yeah. right, and we missed him as well. Uh, and Joe Allen went off quite early as well, which helped. He did, us but no package. excuses. I'm not making things, any excuses. I'm not setting myself up here. Um, you know, you performed, you did enough on the night to get through and win that game. And it's Martin O'Neill down to a tee, big centre arms, defending strongly, heading it out of their own box and um, scored a great goal, James McLean. So no excuses from our point of view. This is a different scenario. Time's gone on, but uh, it's time for Wales now under Ryan Giggs to show that, you know, they made the right appointment in Giggsy. Uh, played with him for 10 years, of course, as a player. Um, you know, and I like the fact he's giving young young lads an opportunity uh, because I like to see young players coming through and express themselves. Yeah, and just uh, lastly, um, could you give us a score prediction? Well, of course, um, I think Wales will win. Um, I'll go two 0 I'll go two 0 But I hope I hope the Republic of Ireland can sort out all the differences they've got in the squad. I hope they can find that balance where they can play. You know, a centre forward that, that will that will be a threat for them. Um, they're decimated with injuries and suspensions and um, and retirements. Martin's got to deal with that. And I think from a Republic of Ireland point of view, you know, they've given him a new contract. So you've got to get behind him now. Yeah. You've got to get behind him now. And uh, I would say trust in the great man. Okay. Well, uh, I, I I'm gonna go for um, a one-all draw. We'll play it safe. Because uh, I have to try and be somewhat uh, positive. Of course you do, mate. Of course you do. Um, but uh, look, uh, guys, uh, let us know what you think uh, in the comments in regards to our preview. Do you agree with John? Do you uh, disagree with me? They won't agree with me. They won't agree with me. Um, but let us know in the comments anyway, John. Thank you very much Thanks for your time. Thanks, Paul. Gentlemen, thank you very yes. much. Pleasure. Uh, don't forget to subscribe now we've uh, just reached uh, over 3,000 subscribers so um, if you haven't do it just hit the subscribe button now and click the bell for alerts if you want to be alerted for any other videos going forward thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV have a great day if you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button now and if you never want to miss a video click the bell for alerts for all our other social media platforms check out this list below and as always Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.